Hey guys, uh, I've been looking everywhere for some more in-depth information on how people use the nano switches uh, by Ubiquity. This thing is a PoE switch, uh, PoE passive, so it's one in and three out. And in my other video, we're going to actually implement this um, into my Unify network. But this is going to be an unboxing and it's going to be a uh, use case. So how does it work? Can we make it work with a Unify Switch 860 watt with a couple devices hooked onto it? Um, we're going to see what it looks like in Unify controller because it is just a dummy switch. Um, it does not say that it is monitored or uh, you don't need to adopt this into your Unify controller or anything like that. So these switches cost around $40. I got this at Micro Center. Um, so... We're going to implement that and I'm going to show you how my use case is going to be for the nano switch. All right, guys, let's quickly look what comes in the box here. Um, as you open this up, you will see a quick start guide and the nano switch. And then you'll have two pole connectors and a self tapping screw. So um, the switch is very lightweight you can have all four individual cables come out um, or we can double them up I can see the one on the far left is smaller than the other ones um, and it looks like there's a very small one you can punch out for a ground um, you can mount it which we're gonna be mounting it via some screw holes here on the back and then you can wrap your yeah, it's open under there, so you can wrap your pole connectors if you were going to use this outside. So this is considered an outdoor switch, but we're going to be running this um, in our attic. So, really excited for this. Let's see if we can pop this but bad boy off. And there's your ports. It does have a grounding strap there, which is really nice, so you can run through the small one here on the bottom if you want to run a, a grounding strap grounding wire from that so there's the uh nano switch and we'll use this in a different type of uh environment here it's going to be in the attic versus outside so it's not going to be weathered on but yeah we're gonna we're gonna deploy this in the garage here momentarily all right proof of concept set up we've got the new apac light right here uh we have a the unify nano switch and this blue cable coming down here is actually a poe camera out in the garage we've got the nano um a, the ac light and then we're going to grab our cable and put some power to it let's see no, not getting any lights yet it might be this patch cable okay here it goes round two we just switched the patch cables around and we're still not seeing a light so, there's no lights down here, no lights up there. I don't know. This may not work for this application. Theoretically, it should. We're just not seeing any lights at all. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, adding this quick little bit in here. So I went over and I could not get the this thing to power up, this nano switch, because obviously, me not thinking straight, you need passive power of Ethernet. So using my 60 watt um, PoE switch, it's not putting out passive. 
because it's sending a signal, it's trying to see if the signal's there. If it's not seeing the signal, it's not going to send power. So there's nothing to trick it into saying, hey, it needs power. Um, it's not just going to send power to it all the time. So this is a little 12 uh, watt PoE injector by Ubiquity. Um, this comes with the APAC lights if you get the single units. You got a little clips on the back of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the cabinet down in the basement here because the whole idea behind this was to show that we can power two devices off of this guy, um, the AC light and a camera, and have this remotely set somewhere else and having one single wire come in. The other backup would be me putting a small dummy five port switch up in the attic, which needs a power source, then run two of these guys to power both the camera and the APAC light, um, but that would then defeat the purpose of minimizing all these plugs and wires everywhere. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, the APAC light only takes around three to four watts, and this guy only pulls about one watt, and the camera only pulls about three to four watts. So that's only nine of the 12 watts that this thing can take. So that's what we're gonna do. So here's the access point that we just put up in the attic. It's right above the living room here, so it's going to give enough coverage downstairs and the two access, um, the two cameras on the outside of the house, the ring cameras, and it's going to provide enough power through the wall here on the other side of the third level of the house. The Unify um, Nano switch here is having the uplink on uh, port one. The second port, which is, you can see the PoE light on the left is on, however, the right light for the data link light is off. Um, all the PoE is constantly powered on this, however, it's not sending the signal that I need to turn on my uh, PoE camera, which is right below us right here. So as I was playing in the basement, couldn't get the Unify switch uh, 60 watt to turn this thing on and power it because it was looking for an active signal, not a passive signal um, same thing with I I thought this uh, camera that I had downstairs was um, was going to run on passive as well um, but it seems not to so what we're going to do is we've got another cable right here that fish through the wall for temporary use um, I'm probably going to take this switch back because I really don't have another use for it um, if I was adding another access point or another unified camera up here that's what i would use it for but for right now um that's a really good test um scenario test that we did to see if we could run an access point off of this and a camera via the 60 watt um uh, poe switch so the poe switch will not power this guy um this switch is actually being powered by the 12 watt PoE injector that came with the access point um, AC light that's in the basement. So lots of good testing here. Uh, if you got any questions about this guy um, or how I did this setup today, uh, please let me know. But there it is, guys. All right, guys, sitting down here on my floor, we're gonna wrap this one up on this uh, nano switch. Um, yeah, my, my review on it, for my use case was going to be we're going to use this nano switch as a dummy switch um, to provide power to some devices however if i would have taken an extra second to really sit back and think that you know passive versus active poe how this can be used um now if i had a unified camera in my garage that would have been perfect however the aimcrest uh, camera, 8 megapixel camera I was using was active powered. So it could be powered via 12 volt or it could be powered via PoE. So um, it just it, it just wasn't going to work. Um, so the way my set, my network set up right now is the uh, PoE camera is connected right to my uh, Unify 60 watt switch and then the 
access point is using the PoE injector it came with. So I'm still running two Ethernet cables to the attic um, for now. Uh, in the future, I'm going to get a um, an active switch, which will still work with my access point. So um, thinking that I will get a, another 60 watt Unify switch to put up there. Um, that will probably be my, my go-to. Um, but right now I just ran two, I still have the two ethernet cables out there and that's, that's working for me. Um, so more on the nano switch. I mean, this is, this is really a great device. Um, if I had to just run all my access points off of this, that'd be great. Um, or just unify products in general, uh, cameras or, or whatnot. Um, I, I, I do like this, this idea. I mean, easily mount it wherever you want. Uh, got some pass throughs on it, um, for cable management on the back to make it look very clean. Um, there's no rubber seal or anything around the outside of it, but after looking at every possible video out there on YouTube, there was nothing that people were trying to use these on internal home use cases, but I wanted to do it myself, try it out. Um, this is 40 bucks. Uh, it's going back to the store since it's not going to do what I need it to do, and I've got no other use for it right now. Um, but uh, it is plug and play. It does not show up on your Unified controller. Uh, it is completely passive, so as soon as you um, plug in a passive PoE source, it turns on, and you're off and running with it. Um, does grow, glow blue right here, and all the LEDs are all green, so there's no um, there's no orange or anything LEDs on it. But great device, just not going to work for me. And we'll take it, throw it back in the box here. Package it back up, take it back to Micro Center tomorrow. Um, I thank them for letting me try this thing out. Uh, just didn't work for me. But uh, if you got any questions on the Nano Switch, just let me know and I will um, try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks.